Now, one of only eight surviving Medal of Honor recipients from World War II lives here in the Capital Region. He is Sergeant Francis Curry of Selkirk, and he was awarded the medal in 1945 at the age of 19 for saving the lives of five of his fellow soldiers. Our Jennifer Lukey recently spent the day with Sergeant Curry, and Jen joins us now with a story that you'll see only on six this Veterans Day. Hi, Jen. Hey, Dory. Well, it was truly an honor for me to get to spend the afternoon with Sergeant Curry. He is the definition of a true American hero. Three Purple Hearts, a Silver Star, and of course, the most prestigious of them all, a Medal of Honor. As you said, he's one of only eight surviving Medal of Honor recipients from World War II, and he shared with me the details of the battle that led to that medal. On December 21st, 1944, Frank Curry was just 19 years old. I had three months of, uh, three and a half months of combat before that day and five months and a half months after that day. And to me, it was just another day. Frank and his platoon were guarding a bridge near Malmedy, Belgium, when German tanks advanced on their position. People don't realize how thin we were spread down there and how close we come to lose in that war. Under heavy fire, his small crew was forced to retreat to an abandoned factory. We ran from window to window firing at the Germans, so they, they think there was a lot of guys there. A few months Frank ago, found a bazooka in the factory, but the ammunition for it was across the street. He charged through gunfire to retrieve it, and on his way back, he helped a number of other American soldiers who were caught in the crossfire. So in the course, the afternoon, I managed to disable M3 tanks with, with a grenade. Then I used the machine gun to cover the last couple of guys uh, so they could get out. But Frank didn't get out with them. He returned back to the factory where five other soldiers were pinned, two of which were wounded. I've never been so proud of guys in my whole life as I am of them guys. After finding an abandoned Jeep, they loaded up the injured and decided to plow through. I said, I'll ride shotgun on this rear wheel that they had on the Jeep. And if we're challenged by the Germans, I'll hop off and I'll cover you, and you guys just take off. They all got out alive that day, but Frank was shot three times during his nine months in combat, and even that, he makes light of. Doctor takes a look at her. Geez, he says, that's a nice clean one. Band-Aid, Band-Aid, back you go. He was awarded the Medal of Honor while he was still overseas. He also has a silver star and three purple hearts. In the nearly 70 years since he left Europe, Frank has continued to help other soldiers as a benefits counselor at the VA. He is a true American hero. In fact, he's got his own action hero to prove it. So when the G.I. Joe folks called, what'd you think? <laughs> I thought, I thought it was kind of a joke. In 1988, Hasbro created a 12-inch version of Frank at age 19, complete with a miniature bazooka, automatic rifle, mini grenades, and, of course, his Medal of Honor. Well, that was just a one day of them nine months. One day that will forever be an important part of American history. In Selkirk, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Now, Sergeant Curry, as you saw, let me put on <laughs> his medal of honor. honor right there. I asked if he wanted to put it on. He said, well, you're going to have to help me. I oh. said, oh, my goodness, sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Uh, as we mentioned last week, we reported he's going to be featured on a postal stamp that comes out tomorrow, actually. he's uh, He and 11 other World War II Medal of Honor recipients will be on the booklet um, of the stamps. You can buy those tomorrow. And although it's not in the official citation, I think it's very important to mention, and a lot of researchers and historians have said that his act on that day actually helped end the war when mm. it did because mm. had those Germans been able to get across that bridge they would have been coming into a part that was already secured by the Allied forces and it may have pushed back the end of the war several weeks. He mentioned that himself and, and as yeah. you talk to him it's amazing mm. to me 19 years old he's barely older than my yeah. son and his buddies in high school. It is yeah. amazing. He did all this as a 19 year old. He did he and he actually joined the military when he was 17 went into training and he had to wait because they couldn't be sent mm. overseas until they turned 19. So he went almost right after his birthday, and he mm. said, "I just I was from a small town. I wanted to go. I wanted to defend my country. And you know, uh, in, nine, in the nine months he was in battle, he saved countless lives. He was awarded this medal for those five that day. But as mm. he said, it was nine months of constant combat overseas. And that's why he and his comrades are indeed the greatest generation. Yes, they are. All right, All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much, Jen. And